everyone. So I thought I'd stick you on the windowsill this morning and while I'm doing my washing up, I'll have a chat. So I hope you're all okay and keeping well. Um, what have I been up to this week? So early on last week, I joined a group called Unique. You've probably heard of them. Um, they are a skincare and makeup company and um, basically I'm going to be a presenter. Years and years ago, my friend used to be a presenter herself and I um, really fancied giving it a try. Um, we went to a ball, um, a Christmas ball with the company and I really enjoyed that and it kind of gave me the drive to do it and I was all ready to sign up and then unfortunately we lost my mum, bless her. And um, she, well obviously the grief of losing mum, it kind of went on the back burner and I never did it. Um, so talking to Hobby recently and obviously we were all feeling a pinch a bit and I just thought I'd like to start something or try to start something new. So we said, well why don't you start this, well have a go at doing this journey. So here I am, I've tried, I'm, I've, I've joined up, sorry not I've tried, I've joined up and um, I've took my first few orders, we're still in the training stage, um, it's doing all right, we're doing quite well. Anyway, I'm suddenly not washing up. Um, so my week otherwise, so obviously it was bank holiday Monday, so I had hubby at home on Monday, which was really nice, we got to spend some family time together. The children stayed at their grandma and grandma's over the weekend, um, which they absolutely loved and decided they wanted an extra night, which is really nice. Um, so they're growing up really quick and it's nice that they still want to spend that time with their grandma and granddad. Um, um, Tuesday, we um, went to the gym. I can't remember whether we went Monday or not. I can't remember. I think we may have. Um, and we went to the gym on Tuesday and did half an hour on the bike. Um, we had our usual, we tend to have the same lunches, so it's usually like a tuna salad, um, and then we have like a low calorie meal in the evening. So all that we do really, we, I wouldn't say we're on a diet as such, we just calorie count. So I use a app called Noose Check, um, and I just literally track what I eat. So whatever goes in, goes on the app. Um, so on Monday, like I said, we had a tuna salad. I tend to have a yogurt and some snacky jacks um, as a snack. And I've also been having um, low fat hummus and a um, sticks of celery or carrots to kind of dip in, which is really nice. Um, Monday evening we had Mayflower curry, which is made with, it's actually, uh, I'm not sure if I've got any, let me look, see if I've got a part of it that I'm here to show you. No, I can't see it, so we haven't got any left of it. It's from the pound shop or B&M, and it's um, just like a powder that you mix with water and then you add it with your chicken and your onions and mushrooms, that kind of thing. Uh, I think we had that with rice. Um, um, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, sorry, uh, the kids go to grandma's after school. So we tend to have something a bit quicker on a Wednesday. Um, so we have um, stone baked pizza, which are from Sainsbury's. They are very like thin and um, got a slight little sprinkling of cheese on. They're 400, and, I think it's 425 calories for whole pizza. So we tend to have that and have it with either like some wedges or um, a big salad. Um, and it doesn't, it feels a bit naughty, which is nice, but obviously it's not massive calories. Um, again, uh, yesterday, the usual, I've been having tuna salads this week, so we have tuna, chicken, ham, cheese salads, whatever really takes our fancy. Um, I've had tuna all day, all week this week. I went to see my friend yesterday morning, so I had a couple of, um, coffees at Costa, which again, if it goes in, it goes on the app. Um, they were fairly high yesterday, so it took up quite a bit of my calories, but 
you know, at the end of the day, you've got to live, haven't you? So, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, so they went on the app. Um, like I said, salad for lunch. Then we had Sainsbury's have got like a summer chicken range, which is like all spiced chickens. And the chicken that was, we had last night, I think it was Cajun style. It was really tasty. It was quite high in calories. But um, but when you we teamed it with a load of veg and I think half a packet of rice each, it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. I think it was about 700 calories for the whole meal. But it was really filling, really tasty, really enjoyed it actually. Then tonight we have, I um, don't know if I've got them out, no. We have a curry from Aldi, which are the pre... Let me get it out and show you. It'll be easy to show. We have one of these from Audi for tea tonight. Again, because um, the twins go to grandma and granddad, so it's just quicker for us to put them in the microwave with either a jacket potato or rice or a salad when we get back and veg. So that's what we have on a Friday night, ten to. Um, so in the whole of that, you, it is. So amount per pack, 329 calories in that. So we'll probably have that with, maybe that. So half of that is 169 calories. We'll share that, me and we will share that. And then have some veg or a salad or something with it. <coughs> Bear with me. Um, and then tomorrow, I think we're going to have a go at doing like a chicken kebab, like a home homemade one. So it feels like we're having a bit of a takeaway. So you probably notice I'm a bit breathless. Um, basically, about February time, I noticed that I was struggling a little bit with my breathing. Um, and I was diagnosed with asthma. And... Um, Basically, to cut a long story short, not long after I had or was diagnosed with asthma, I was, um, I had COVID. So, um, yeah, we, me, hubby and the, my daughter had COVID. So I wasn't quite sure whether it was asthma or whether it was like, the onset of COVID, but uh, no, I have got asthma. So I've had a chat with my asthma nurse this morning She's gonna up one of my inhalers for me um, from twice a day to four times a day. Um, because, you know, obviously this breathlessness is not great. And then I've got a steroid spray or something, she was saying, for up my nose to try and clear the airways a bit. But um, if that's not improving anything, then the next step is to go for chest x-rays, etc., etc. So obviously getting the weight down was is gonna help this um, breathing hopefully. Um, being more active this week, I, I forgot to say that me and Hubby have been the gym every day this week. Um, we're not going this evening, but we will go Saturday and Sunday. Um, we've done only half an hour, but half an hour every evening in the gym, and it's I felt really good for it. It felt really good that I've been out there doing something, you know, and giving myself a bit of a challenge um it's not been easy and i'm sore and tired today anyway um so that brings us to today um today i'm just catching up with housework this morning or supposed to be i'm just standing chops into you um which is all good i've got some bits and bobs to do this morning some parcels to sort out and yeah and then we're uh, looking forward to a nice weekend i think i've got something else to tell you i can't think what I've got to say, I've gone, I've got a brain, brain fart, yeah, I don't know, so anyway, that's what I was going to say, I've just remembered, okay, it's come to me, so last week I got on the scales and I stayed the same, so in a minute, I've got to admit, I am here, I've got to admit I was a bit upset with that because I've been quite good last week so I'm not sure if my calories need adjusting and maybe 
sorry, I'm just fetching the watch the washing soap. So I don't know whether my calories need adjusting and maybe I need to eat less calories to be to like kind of bump the weight loss. I mean I, when I first started I'd lost nine pounds in my first week and um I think it was two or three the next week. Um and then I've stayed the same or I've not lost a lot for a couple of weeks now so I'm thinking something may need changing um, but it's all good I'm not gaining and I'm still trying and obviously I managed to up, up the cardio a little bit this week I mean some might think it's not a lot some people may think oh half an hour a day but it's better than nothing you know and it's it's I'm enjoying having that like a bit of time with hubby in the evening um, and hopefully this week we'll see a little gain on the scales but it will come and I just I think sometimes it can be a little bit disheartening when you've tried so hard and you've not lost a lot um, and I think as well for because I've got quite a lot to lose I think sometimes it seems so hard to see that kind of end goal. It feels like you're never going to get there because you've got so much to lose. But um, when the um, my doctor referred me, my um, spinal um, surgeon, he um, referred me to a dietitian, and we were talking about weight loss. And some of the consultants I've had in the past have been a bit. How can I put it in politely? I've been a bit okay. Well, you've got one, well, ten stone to lose, and when they say that, you think, "Wow, I've got so much to lose," and it seems impossible. It seems like you're never going to get to that journey. That's the end of that journey. Sorry, should I say? And this, um, sorry, this dietitian said to me, "What you have to do is, and what we do is set little goals." And so smaller goals um, and realistic goals. No point in setting yourself these big massive goals, like five pound a week, um, and then when you don't manage to get there, feeling all disappointed. So a couple of pound a week will do me fine. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to lose 15 stone in a day. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, it took me a long time to put it on, and um, I won't go into too much now. But I've been a big girl most of my life, you know. And it's not just about being slim for me. It's it's about um, being healthy. But I also think I need to work through some of the issues I've got in my head, you know, from childhood regarding food, if that makes sense. But, as I was saying, it took me years to put it on, so it probably going to take me a few years to get it off. But ultimately, I just want to be here longer for my children and for my family, and be healthier, Hopefully less pain with my back. That is my aim. Anyway, so I hope you all have a really good a really good weekend, should I say, not a weekend. Really good weekend. Um have a lot of time with your family. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll, hopefully it's not too much of a waffle. Um I have got a channel called my eight stone journey. If you want to go over there, or the eight or nine stone, I can't remember. I'll link it below. And um, I'm going to try and remember to put up more regular posts. So you'll probably be able to see my weight losses up there and um, how I do, etc. Um, so I can interact with you that way. Um, yeah. So thank you for coming back and thank you for watching me. And um, if there's anything else you'd like to know or would like to, me to talk about, just pop a message in the box down there and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.